we typically prepare the tissue using a scuba technique. The final stripping of the tissue is performed while submerged. It is pulled free and away from the donor stroma in a controlled manner in the inner cylinders placed between the separated stroma and the graft. And when it's lined up in their proper position on the device, the device is then lifted out of the preservation fluid and the round graft drapes around the cylinder with some overlap on the underside of the cylinder, maintaining a known orientation of the tissue with the endothelium side out. Next, the outer protective cylinder is slid to cover the graft and the cylinder is rotated 180 degrees so that the overlapped edges are upward. The device is placed into the wound with the correct orientation of the tissue, again the overlap upward, and the inner cylinder is then inserted further into the eye as seen here. Next, air is injected through the inner cylinder which unfolds the tissue and pushes it downward to the surface of the iris. After it's unfolded completely in the known orientation endothelium side down against the iris, air is then withdrawn, flattening the anterior chamber and then replaced under the center of the graft, pushing it upward against the host stroma. This is done through a basic double cylinder device with an air outlet. The obvious advantages are that the tissue is inserted into the eye, the orientation is known and maintained, it takes all the guesswork, tapping, and difficult steps out of the surgery, making it as easy as an air injection. Thank you for your attention and your comments.